Hi Graphic Geek Mama subscribers, visitors. I am going to be um, showing a my unboxing slash reveal of a pre-loved patent leather Chanel wallet that I bid on and I successfully won. I got a steel deal for it and it came with the felt cover, authenticity care card, and care card. Now, I brought my item on eBay and so when the seller says that something is in excellent condition, it you need to make sure that there could be variances with that interpretation. Maybe excellent for them means very good for you. Um, and so ask them what they mean when they say it's in very good condition or excellent condition. So this is the item and it's a double L wallet. Okay. And um, it's got a purple interior. And there's, and what I thought was excellent was just how this was intact. Okay. What I didn't think was excellent was there was a spot here. And there was a spot here, but when I asked her questions, she said it was the metal enclosure that had left that mark. So I thought, okay, that's livable for me. The quilts looked full. And when I opened it today, I liked what I saw, except when I got to this part. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but on the folds, there's some hairline crease marks which is common with the wear and tear on a patent item. But once it starts creating a chip, you really can't replace it. There are some DIY um, suggestions of putting the same colored nail polish on it for NYX or using Windex to shine this. But what I did was I went to my local cobbler, shoe cobbler, and... Um, asked him if he could shine this up for me and put a leather conditioner. So he did that. He also had a special service that he said if this really bothered me down the line that he could deconstruct this and replace it. Now not every shoe cobbler is going to offer that. Um, I, I also have the option of possibly taking it to Chanel Repair. But Chanel's new policy is that if a bag is older or a wallet or a bag is older than five years, it's a little bit more complicated to return it. You have to show a proof of purchase. And so for the pre-loved um, clientele, that can be a problem. I, I can do a follow-up video on this. Um, I might just take it in to a Chanel just to see if they'd be able to uh, re dye this leather because the shoe cobbler said he would not be able to match it. There is a company in New Jersey where you can send your Chanel items to. I think they're called the Rago Brothers. Um, they have a mail in service, but you see that beautiful shine is because I took it to the cobbler. So overall, I'm very pleased with this item. Another great thing about this double L long zip wallet is that I found that it fits my phone. This is my Blackberry phone right here. And on, I opened the leather pull and I just placed my phone here and it shuts. So I'm definitely going to use this as a clutch and wallet. It's beautiful. This large CC, um, I think, believe, I can't, it came from the Brilliant collection and so it adds a really bold look. So, in summary, when you're buying a pre-loved patent leather item, ask for pictures. You're, you're spending a lot. I happen to get a steel deal on this, but you're spending a lot of money. Ask for pictures, and the right seller will provide that. They'll have 100% feedback. They might even sell items that are similar in um, high-end retail items uh, that, you know, say if they're selling a wallet they might have other high-end items that they're selling 
um, that you can base your your purchase on, inquire with the local shoe cobbler that has a really good reputation on if, like for example, if they work on Christian Louis Vuittons, chances are their same clientele might be bringing in purses or, or wallets. Um, you can also go to your local Chanel repair and see what services they might provide. But you'd have to bring in your actual wallet for that to take place. I found that's more helpful there. And um, I don't know if all Chanel stores are created equal because when I was inquiring with going to local Neiman Marcus, they asked me if I purchased it there. And I thought, once you have a Chanel, you can take it to any store. Good question is, what can be repaired? What cannot? In my case, my shoe cobbler said, I can't match that die. You need, you need to go somewhere else for that. But he said, I can replace this leather pole. It won't be the same. Um, hardware, things like that, you may want to go and check, uh, you know, with the Chanel repair. Look at the quality of the, the, the quilting on it because once it depuffs, you really can't do anything about it. So, for example, if the if the seller is taking a picture of it like this, ask for a different angle just so you can get an idea of the puffiness factor for the quilting. But when it's broken and it's really nice, um, when I get fingerprints on it, all I do is I take the cover and just do this. And it works fine. So, okay, good luck on your search. Um, I happen to go on eBay, there's Fashion File, there's Mallory's.com, there's several websites that you can do your research on. Ask for those pictures, inquire with your local shoe cobbler and see what they can do to revive your item, and good luck!